Today we're going to build the 27 piece Lava Lamps Diamond. The diamond consists of five rows interchanging with back pieces and front pieces that we just talked about earlier. So to create the 27 piece diamond, as you see in the diagram in the top right, we're going to need 15 front pieces and 12 back pieces. The whites are going to represent our front and the backs are going to represent, or pink is going to represent our backs. Again, from the earlier video, going from left to right, upward motion is a front. A back piece is from left to right, a downward motion. As you see in the diagram, the first row is all white and we need three pieces. So I'm going to cut up, count out three pieces. If you've watched our long oval or cylinder videos, you'll understand how to connect these three in the first row. If not, we'll show you here. We're going to start with the first two pieces. The first piece being a vertical, where the round edges or curves are on the top and the bottom. The second piece, I'm going to make a horizontal. I'm going to connect the bottom and then the top. Again, rotate the piece horizontal, connect the bottom and the top. Make a quick quarter turn to the right, like a clockwise motion. The third piece, you see you have a vertical. We need to make this horizontal. As you learned earlier, it's always round to a straight side. I'm going to connect the middle and connect the bottom. I have a three-sided star. To finish this first row, I need to connect these two tabs. So I just bend the pieces to connect. I'm going to set this aside for a second. As you see in the, in the diagram, the second row consists of six back pieces. I have three pieces on my first row. I need to connect six pieces. to this row. That means each piece in my first row is going to have two connected to it. Starting with the first piece in the second row, I want to make sure that I pick it straight up to not flip it over. If I flip it over, I'm going to be using a front side. So starting with the first piece in the second row, I have a vertical in my left hand. So I need to make a horizontal in my right hand. I'm going to connect just two, one side, two tabs. I'm going to do the same on this piece with the second piece from the second row. I need to make it a horizontal connecting here and to the left. You'll see now that I have one and two on the top. I do not want to connect these or connect the other sides. Each piece from the first row will need to have two pieces of back connected to it. So moving on to the second white piece, I'm again going to turn this horizontally connecting just one side. Again, doing the same thing, horizontal, connecting here to this side. Moving on to the third piece, you can see that I have, if a piece comes off just like happened here, First make sure that it's a back before picking it up and just assembling. Then just reassemble to where that piece was. You can see that I have one piece 
that needs two where my fingers are. And I have two left. Turning this piece horizontally again, I'm going to connect to the top and bring it down to the bottom, connecting just one side. I have one space left open where you can see that it's a straight side from the white piece. And as you can see, my lamp is starting to come apart. This is okay. I'll show you how to fix it. You can see that the round side goes to the straight. This is my straight. So I want to take my piece and connect inside and to the top. And then go back to where my piece fell out, make sure it's a back piece, and do the same thing. As mentioned on the website, this is a slightly higher difficulty of lamp to make. But we're going to get through it, and it's really not that hard. I want to now connect three pieces, or tabs that are not connected. So I only have the fourth tab of each piece showing. You'll see in the diagram to the right, the next row is nine pieces of front. So I want to count out nine pieces. Give yourself plenty of room to make sure that all are laid out. This will ensure that you are using all the pieces for that row and not missing one or adding an additional. When you look at the lamp, you'll see that there are three sides. One, two, three. As shown in the diagram, it shows that you need to connect three pieces to two, or nine pieces to six. Again, to explain that, I have three groups of three. I have three sides. Each side will need three pieces. To start with this side, I'm going to grab from one section a front piece, and I'm going to insert it into the center. So. I'm going to hold my piece horizontally, pick up a vertical, connect in the bottom, connect the top, connect the right. I have two more spaces that I connect the other two pieces. The second piece, I'm only going to connect one side. I do not want to connect this to three sides, as that will close out my lamp and I will not be able to use all the sides needed, all the pieces. So for my third piece, I'm going to connect in the bottom here and just connect there. And I've built three pieces in my first, in my third row, and I have two more sections to build here and here. This may look closed, but remember this is one piece that will be connected, this will be a second, and this will be a third. The same applies to this side where one piece will connect here, the center, and the far right. So to do this, I'm going to connect the center piece connecting the, the center, the left, and the right. I'm going to slide over my pieces so they're easier to work with. I'm going to connect the second piece of this three-sided only on one side. 
connecting down in the bottom and into the left, leaving the two sides, the one side with the two tabs open. My third piece goes right here. This is a straight side. So as you learned earlier in the video, or if you've made our lamps before, the level lamps, you know that the round side always connects to a straight side. So I'm going to connect in the bottom. I want to connect the left. And then I'm going to pull this out, bend and connect on the right. To do that once again, I'm going to start at the bottom, connect the left, and connect the right. Now I have one side left. If pieces come unhooked, just rehook them. Starting with the center, Rotate the piece horizontally, connect the center, bottom, the left, and the right side of the tabs. I have an insertion here and another piece right here. And I have two pieces remaining. Connect the left and the right. The last piece right here. I want to connect the bottom with the straight edge going behind the pink round. Connect the left. And to finish this row, connect the corner. Now you can see that I've got, I've made a triangle with clear defined points that will be my diamond. Now the fourth row on the diagram again uses six back pieces. I'm going to count out all six to ensure that I'm not using too many or too few. I want to make sure that these are all angling down to the right as a back piece. Many people get a little confused on this row. When you look at the lamp, you'll notice that there is one side two sides, three sides of three pieces. Just focus on one side of three. You can see clearly that there are two slots that a piece needs to be put or inserted. So I'm going to start with one piece. As always, I have a vertical, so I'm going to make this one a horizontal. I'm going to come behind the piece, connecting the center, the left, and the right. The next piece is going to go where I'm pointing. So pick the piece straight up, making sure I'm not flipping it over. Turn the piece horizontally. Connect the center to the left, to the right this side is finished. I'm going to do the same insertions on the next side with two pieces. One and two. So working with the first piece, rotating to a horizontal, coming from behind, connecting the center, the left, and the right. Again, turning horizontal, connecting down in the center, to the left, and to the right. Now on the third row, or third side, I should say, the same motion. At this point, you see that the repetition for all the pieces is exactly the same. You just want to make sure you're adding two pieces per side, not per row, per side. 
making our fourth row complete. Just about. This looks like a little bit of a mess. Let's fix it. I need to take where my corners are and connect these two tabs. And I need to do that on all three sides. This looks closed in, which it is, but we have our corners complete. So to complete the fifth row now, I'm going to connect the pink tabs together in three sections. And you can see where my final three pieces go for the white, which is just the same as the bottom. I have three pieces left for my six rows you see in the diagram and they're all fronts. So to begin, I just want to focus on one piece. This is a horizontal. So I'm going to pick this piece straight up. It's a vertical. And I'm going to insert to the bottom, to the left, and to the right. Rotate. Again, I have a horizontal. Pick up a vertical. Insert to the bottom. Insert on the left. Insert the top just like we do with every lamp on the last row to close the center. And then to connect my fourth tab. And I have one piece left. Here's my horizontal. Connect my vertical. The straight side has to go underneath the curved edge. So I'm going to connect the bottom, connect the left, bend the entire piece, connecting the top, and then connect the bottom tab. You'll notice the lamp is making an indentation possibly. Just simply take your fingers and pop it out. And that concludes the 27-piece Lava Lamps Diamond.